Well, it all started back uh, when I was in Pee Wee. I was out in St. Catharines playing under Sean Allen, and he really, like, kind of, I had no idea what I was doing. Scored one goal my first year, and he really helped me along and kind of taught me the ways. And coming out here, just learning from guys like Tyler Pace and John Luke Chedner, like, really helped me out my scoring. So the Minto Cup is known as one of the hardest tournaments to win in, in all of lacrosse, one of the most coveted trophies. How did you become an American that's so effective on, on a team that's got a lot of history in box lacrosse? Uh, it's pretty awesome. The guys are really, really open and kind of helping me out, telling me little things that I didn't know before and little tricks and just hanging out off the floor. It really gave us a bond together. And like just when I was a little kid, I was always hearing about the Minto Cup and seven game series. And now I'm finally out here playing and it's pretty cool. So what did, where did you feel your learning curve was as an American? Like, what did you have to really do to find your, your floor time? Oh, uh, it's scoring mostly. It's pretty, it's a lot different from field because you can dodge short sticks and that's pretty nice, but it's really hard to get the ball in the net and like make the goalie go the wrong way. And it's not always about scoring, but if you get them moving the wrong way, you kind of, you know, you're shooting the ball well. So what would be your next goal if you ended up with a Minto Cup this weekend? Are you going to continue your box lacrosse career or really focus on field lacrosse now that you're coming towards college? Definitely. No, I'm definitely going to keep playing box, but got to win a high school state championship too. So Minto first and then state championship next. I'm Colin Monroe and I grow the game.